uh, A3 high, higher level short question. We're dealing with an intersecting planes question. Uh, so we have to we have two planes ABC and ADE. We have to draw the plan and elevation of the line of intersection and determine the dihedral angle between the planes. So we don't have the, the line of intersection. Any time we need to find the line of intersection, we need to do what are called horizontal sections. I'm going to have one point on the line of intersection because this point is common to both. The two planes touch at the same point, so I only need one other point. I'm going to find a point somewhere here and then let me draw the line of intersection. So to do it, I take what's called a horizontal section. I come along anywhere at all and I draw a horizontal section. So that's as if I got a handsaw and sliced horizontally through both planes. The plane ABC gets cut at point one, I'll call it, and point two. I'm going to draw that line of plane. So BC has the line, sorry, AB has point one on it. So one comes to plan. Line AB, don't confuse them. Make sure you double check. Here is AB. There is point one. Point two is on line AC. I come down and I find AC. Here is point two. That is the line of plan. So that is the horizontal line one, two. The other plane, A, D, so our plane A, D, E, we have our horizontal section there as well. So this one line represents two separate horizontal sections and I'll call it P and again I'll follow it around so it's A, D, E, Q. So now I've got a line P, Q which is on that plane A, D, E. P is on the line A, D. A, D, I bring it down, that is where P is. Q is on the line AE and I've got a problem here in that I can't find the point here, the line here, so we'll have to go and solve that. Now I've got an easy way out of this but if I didn't have the easy way what I'd have to do is take line AE and rotate it around. I'm going to show you that just in case it happens. So I'd have to basically get line AE, rotate it around into what looks like a horizontal position in plan. So I've got a new position here. So that is AE in the new position and I'd find the new position in elevation. So this is the new position of E. This would be it up here in the elevation. So that is the new position. What I'd have to do then is take point Q across onto that line. So Q goes across and I just bring it back down. Down to plan. So what that has is I've got AE in the sideways position with point Q on it. Here's AE in plan in the sideways position with point Q on it and then I'd rotate it back round into position. So that is if I didn't have another way out. This question has uh, a little trick to it. I know that PQ is horizontal. PQ has to be horizontal line. I have point P. When I look at it, DE is horizontal. So DE is the bottom of the plane. It is horizontal. So when I come along, DE is here. I'm going to draw on a horizontal line. I can draw the horizontal line from P and that gives me the line in plan. And you see it's the same thing. So Q I brought across, down and around, found point Q, but it's the same solution. Because this is horizontal, the line I'm drawing is horizontal. The two are parallel to each other. It gives me the line. So now I've got PQ and 1, 2. PQ, 1, 2 in plan, and you'll see those two cut at a point. That is a point on the line of intersection. That is going to give me my line of intersection. So I can draw it in, in elevation. I bring my point up. That is a point on the line of intersection, which is going to let me draw the line of intersection. So A through that point gives me the line of intersection. There it is. I can find that point in plan, same thing. So I'll bring it down here. And it's going to be the same one anyway. Here's my line of intersection. I draw it in red as well, just so I don't confuse it. So there is my line of intersection in elevation of plan. That is the first part. Now I have to go and do the dihedral angle. So our dihedral angle is the same all the time. Auxiliary elevation and an auxiliary plan. So I'm going to start my auxiliary elevation looking in at 90 degrees to the line of intersection. We should have done this loads of times. So looking in at 90 degrees, I'll project out my auxiliary elevation. So I'll project out all my points. So 
and I'm going to project out to the other end of the line intersection. I'm just going to call, call it point R, just to have a point or a name. Come out here with my XY line, just anywhere out here. X1, Y1. It's an auxiliary elevation. So from my elevation, take the height of A. Project out my height of A. Height of point R, we call it. Here is the height of point R in elevation. It's on the XY line. So when I project out, there is my point R. That is the line of intersection. So that is the true length of the line of intersection. All of my other points, D, B, C, and E are all on the XY line. So when I project out, D is here, C, B, and E, I forgot, is here. And I've got my plane A, D, E, A, D to E, and the plane A, B, C. Now I need to draw a point view of my line of intersection. So I'm projecting out here a point view of my line of intersection. So again, looking along the line, project out my point view of the line of intersection, set up my XY line. This may or may not go off the page. If it does, don't worry about it. This is X2, Y2. So again, I project out each of my points. I don't have to project them all up, but I will just to make it easier to save explaining. Project out point E, B. There's where A and R is, C and D. No points are there. First up, I want the point view of A R. The two lengths are the same. So A and R are the same distance. So when I come out, project out, measure out my distance. I'll just move that slightly over so you can see it. So project out the distance. That is the point view of A R. Project out point E, distance to E from the previous XY line. Here it is. Project out E. Project out C. Here's where C is. And I've projected all the points now. So I projected out all of the points into the auxiliary plan. It did go a little bit off the page. You could just stick a little piece of paper onto the side. It doesn't matter. I'm expecting to see two edge views. So in other words, ADE should look like a straight line, which it does. And ABC looks like a straight line, which it does. Here is my dihedral angle. Any of these, you could just label dihedral angle. And you just show your dihedral angle. Here it is. Done. Determine the traces of the plane ADE. Now, ADE, the simple thing here, you'll notice is that DE is on the ground, which automatically makes it the horizontal trace. So when I come along, line DE is the horizontal trace automatically, because it's already lying on the ground. So this line here is my horizontal trace. I need to find a point on the vertical trace. Now, I've just coloured in the plane so it makes a little bit more sense in plan. Don't you do it because you're covering up your construction line. So just, you've got your plane ADE, ADE in elevation. If I want to find a point on the vertical trace, I basically draw one of the lines to hit the vertical plane. Here is my vertical plane in the plan view, it's the XY line. So I can take either line AD, or I can take, for example, A, sorry, AD or AE. I'll take AD, I just extend it to hit the vertical plane. So there it is on the vertical plane in plan. I just find the same point in elevation. So I take that point up, it's in elevation. And I know that AD was extended. So I come along and I extend AD. Hits gives me that point. That gives me my vertical trace. And make sure you label them VT. That is that question done. Skew lines then for A4 is pretty much the same method all the time. So we have two lines A, B and C, D in elevation and plan. Determine the projections of the shortest horizontal distance. That's going to be important later between the two skew lines. Doesn't matter whether we want shortest distance or shortest horizontal distance. We do the same setup. I'm going to make a plane using 
these two lines. So what that means is I'm going to take one of the lines and I'm going to use a line parallel to that to construct a plane. So I'm just going to go from a point and it doesn't matter how I do this, I can do it any way I want. I'm going to take just for example AB and I'm going to draw parallel to, uh, sorry, parallel from point C. So I've just taken this line and pretty much moved it to this position and gone parallel. I'm going to use a horizontal line always as the third line. So now I've created a plane C, D and I'll call this for example point P. I'm going to draw the same plane in plan. So I had AD and I drew parallel from C. AD and I drew parallel from C. And I find my point P in plan. It's going to be on that line. And I get the line C, D, P. I've created a plane. Now, I've got my plane C, D, P, and I've got my line A, B. I'm going to project an auxiliary elevation looking along the horizontal line. Horizontal line, D, P. So this is the plane I've just created. I'm going to project out to find an edge view of this plane. So I'm going to project out, because off the sheet again, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to set up my XY line. So I come off over here and set up my XY line at 90 degrees. Anywhere at all, it doesn't really matter. X1, Y1. I'm going to draw an auxiliary elevation. So height of points P and D is here. P and D are project out. So that, sorry, that is a point view of PD. It doesn't want to draw for some reason. Oh, sorry about that, I'll go back through it. Height of PD, P and D are the same. I project out, measure off my distance, P to D. Height of C, height of C, project out, gives us the height of C. And then the height of A, tells us the height of B, and the height of A. We get A, B, which is our line, and then our plane, which is C, P, D. These should look parallel to one another, so when I draw them in. And that's what you're looking for. They should be parallel to one another. And they are, so I've made them parallel. Now, to find the shortest horizontal distance, I'm going to project off parallel or looking along the XY line from my auxiliary plane. So in other words, looking along this XY line, I'm projecting out my points. What I should see is that these two, the plane and the line will appear to cross. They don't cross, but they'll appear to cross. I'll set up my XY line. So this is my X2, Y2. And I'm going to be taking my distances back into plan, which are huge. So I'm going to reduce those down with a datum line. So again, I just subtract a distance off my XY line. I'll bring my datum line in anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'll put my datum line here. Again, make sure you label it, datum. Now I've reduced down each of my distance, so the distance for A. Instead of taking the big distance from A to the XY line, I'm taking the smaller distance. Take out point A. Take out B. Follow up B. Point C, and the projectile C, last one then, point D, projectile point D, line AB and point CD appear to cross. They don't, but they appear to cross. That point is the shortest horizontal distance. When I bring it back into my auxiliary elevation, I get my horizontal distance. And it's horizontal because it's parallel to the XY line, you can see. So that's my horizontal distance. So here's the point on line AB, and here is the point 
on line C, D. I bring those back into plan. So take back my point into plan and the point is on the line CD. Here's my point. Take back my point into plan for AB. So here's my point on line AB. Those are my two points. That should be the plan view of the line. Now remember this line is the shortest horizontal distance. So when I find this in elevation, it should still be horizontal. So when I break up line, the point onto AB should be here. The point onto CD should be here. And when I draw it, it should be horizontal. And it is. So that is the shortest horizontal distance found. Now determine and indicate in degrees the true angle between the horizontal line and the vertical plane. Here's my horizontal line. Vertical plane again in plan. You always see your vertical plane in plan. All I've got to do is extend it. Here is my angle. That is the angle found. Just get your protractor, measure that angle. That's the question done.